Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. Today's video is about maintenance of one of my favorite sewing tools. So let's go! You already know the drill with the band roll. The band roll is mainly used for the waistband in men's trousers. Tell me guys, have you done a hem with the band roll yet? You can take a piece of your band roll. It usually should be somewhat longer than your desired hem. But now I'm going to show you here just with a little piece for an example. Then you start ripping out the thread. The first one very often is a little thicker, so you could use a scissor to facilitate the job. Cut a pinch and it will be easier to pull out those threads. Then I pull as many threads as I need until I have the width I'm looking for on my rolling hem. For example, I'm going to do now a 316 hem on a cotton napkin. Because this cotton is a little thick, I don't want to make a super narrow hem as it might look too stiff. By the contrary, thinner fabric will look great with a very, very narrow hem. Now that I finally have the proper width, I can go to my sewing machine and make my hem. You will start by sewing all the way down on the right side of the fabric and the band roll on top. I prefer to use for these short stitches in the range of 2 to 2.5. I feel like this way the tape is more secure to the fabric to manipulate it better for a nicer finish. And then I'm going to turn my fabric upside down and with the help of the tape, I'll fold twice. Or should I say, roll the hem and stitch it again. This way you will obtain a great finish in your hem. I always make sure that it's well tucked inside to get a good consistency all along. And when I finish, it comes the best part. I rip out the band roll by pulling it out. And this way, I obtain a perfect hem each time. My customer was so very happy when she saw her napkins. Now I want to clarify some question I got. The first one is related with cutting the fabric a second time. Look, either when you are working with cotton or making a wider hem, it will be very easy to cut the edges very straight and well put or keep all those loose thread ends inside the hem. It's not a problem. But when you are working on an extra wide gown and with certain materials, by the time you finish cutting the whole skirt, you already will have some frayed thread all around. If you try to make the hem as I directed you before, the loose thread will remain out of the hem and it will diminish the quality of the finish. This is why I recommend it to take that loose thread in consideration beforehand and stitch your first round a tad to the left and then cut it again right before the second pass. That will secure you a beautiful finish in an easier way. Now that this is clear, let me tell you the question I get the most. Can I reuse my band roll? And the answer is yes. Yes. After you use it, the tape will remain almost intact. You can roll it up to storage it and reuse it and it will last for many years. I have had this for a long time, but after a few dozen of hem and a few accidents along the line, they have become, we could say, a little bit untidy. And this is why I have to kind of renew them. So before, when my head wasn't well put over my shoulder, I used to cut the edges to get a clean surface. And of course, the problem was that I was left with a pile of small pieces, which is not good at all. But now I decided to go a little down and cut. 
It doesn't matter that your tape is narrow. In fact, narrower tapes work better. When you cut, try to be on the same hole, in the same line. This is the moment where having a good rotary cutter and a mat will make wonders for you. To make it easier, you also can make a parallel line from the edge and then you can cut through your line. And then when I cut everything all the way, I'm prepared to start all over and make a new tape. I prefer to make tapes longer because very often I have very wide skirts and I like to have different tapes in order to be able to make different hems according to each material. The trick is not to pull all the thread at the same time. If you go and pull one by one, it will be easier. Rolling it up as well helps a lot. When I finish, I have it and it looks great. Another common question is, how would you do corners like on a dinner napkin? And it's very easy, let me show you. So I have one side already done and I'm gonna do the next one and I'm gonna show you how I do the corners there. So I'm doing the first pass and then I'm gonna do my second one and oops. The camera wasn't recording. Uh, ah, very nice corner though. But let me show you again. So now I have two sides and I'm gonna do the corner for both, okay? So you start the normal way, just on top. And then when you finish your first pass, you are going to fold in the same way we said before. When you put it on the machine, you have to make sure to put it not exactly in the edge, but like a one eighth of the inch further. Drop your needle and then go back one or two stitches and then you go forward. When you finish, you are gonna do pretty much the same. Make sure that your corner is square, but finishing is easier than starting. So here you go, you have your two corners in the two ways. Make sure to be careful when you do your back stitch in the second corner. The next question I've been asked is, can I use the band roll to sew knits? And the answer is yes. For example, in this case, I have a lining of a dress. So I'm using a one quarter inch band roll just because I wanna make a little thicker hem. So it makes it a little heavier and it's more comfortable for a lining. And here you go, this is the way it looks. It looks fantastic. And I wanna show you not just that on knit, I wanna show you as well how you can manipulate the knit to have a kind of different finish. You can do that sometimes with chiffon too. So I'm sewing in one side of the same knit, just the regular way, like a knot pulling, just working in a normal way. And then at the other side, I'm gonna pull the knit a little bit. You can pull a little more, a little less. In that case, I'm pulling like a more or less one inch and a half of the original line and something good that happened is that now i don't have enough band roll and if the band roll finish in the way when you are working you just have to take another one and just keep working you see that was something that i didn't say as well but that was good here this accident so you see how it start getting wrinkled so when you finish so I'm gonna pretty much sew the same way, but you see the finish is a little bit kind of wrinkled and then if you have a big skirt, it accentuates the flare of the skirt. You can use it as well for other reasons, like uh, making a cuff on a blouse or, you know, like a ruffle. Like uh, it, it really gives a nice look. And to conclude, I want to tell you that it's good that you use different width of band roll for different fabric and garments 
but basically for fabric you will say that 116 to 18 is a good rolling hem for chiffon 1 eighth of the inch for organza 316 for pot de soie for cotton shirts one quarter inch and so on so depends of what you are doing you can choose the width of your hem if you find this video useful please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe share comment bye